today we're going to be drawing a squirrel. A squirrel. We're going to draw a squirrel. <laughs> um, and we're going to be using charcoal pencils. You can use whatever you have at home. It all works. Stop! <laughs> this is drawing time! <laughs> What's wrong with me right. here, drink? Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with uh, a line that starts up straight and then gets wiggly. But because that's the body, you're going to have to leave room because there is a pretty big tail. So we're going to start at about halfway through the page towards the bottom. We're going to draw a line that goes up, 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 up. How dare you draw a like squirrel? That. So it's up, 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 up. We're going to fix that one. That was a little wobbly there. And I like that. Wobbly. Wobbly. I don't know if you're going to have enough room there. You may want to tuck yours a little bit more that way. It's a great line. Just move it a little bit more that way. Just kind of like... Yeah. Just... Yeah, then you are all wonky there. Alright. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to draw a line for that back leg. So from here, we're going to just draw a line that comes just about to there. Straight line. Umi Goosh's foot. Umi Goosh. Is that a real thing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then we're going to draw another line that's parallel to this one. So you're here, and you're going to draw a parallel line to there. Except so when you get just about um, here, you're going to go down. What do you mean by parallel without using math? Because this is art, not math. There's math Mom. in art. This is art, Mom, not math. There is parallel is two lines art that will not intersect. Thank you, but <laughs> thank you for my math, man. But um, art can like have everything in it. it I'm does. not doing math. This mm -hmm. is art. Alright, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make another toe. So we're gonna go we're just gonna go follow this line down. Three toe squirrel? Pretty much. You don't have to show them all. And then we're gonna go loop up with a curve line and loop up with a curve line. Um loop up. No, here. What are you doing? <laughs> there. That goes the curve and then do another curve right there. Where? Thank you for listening. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a curve of the body here. So we're making sitting, so we're going to do a curve this way. Down like that. Uh, this is one weird foot. Squirrel. It'll all make sense in a little bit. Squirrel foot, squirrel <laughs> foot. Squirrel, and then we're going to do another squirrel, line while we're foot. here. And that's going to be for the belly. So the belly is going to come out just a little bit further. So it's just a line that's coming up. So it kind of looks together, though, kind of like a curved V, but... See, it's starting to look more squirrely. Alright. <laughs> For the non-believers. Alright, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do that arm. We're going to make them it, um, kind of like arms up. So we're That gonna looks like a sad toenail. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if toenails had feelings. But okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do like a U. So it's going to come from just about, if you have it here to line to about there, you're going to draw yourself a U that way. What if the squirrel doesn't want a U? We're not going through that. <laughs> the bear was the one who had all those feelings. The squirrel has not not a feeling, of, not a care in the world. All I right. just heard a story about D and D and his feelings. <laughs> um, we named one of the squirrels that we see outside a lot, Dean. So that's where that comes from. All right, so and for a thing... science project, I had to make a constellation. I made Dean as my Dean constellation. Dean the constellation. Okay, so we're gonna finish up that arm. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line that's parallel to, parallel again to this line, but it's coming, well, it's coming out a little bit. Like that. Parallel. A line that will never interse intersect. Hopefully hey, that's not parallel. Well, it's a little bit parallel. And then we're going to turn <laughs> There's no such thing as a little bit parallel. <laughs> There's only parallel. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to, I hope your drawing is out good because you're very funny today. All right, so the next thing to do is this turns into a Y. So we're going to make that into a Y. Like that. So this now looks like a Y. The letter Y. Yes, a Y. They're definitely parallel. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to put on the little paw. So now the paw just comes out. It's like you're drawing an L this way. An upside. It's an L that fell over. <laughs> a sad L. <laughs> sad L. And then we're just going to connect it back into the paw. A so right-handed curve. L. Curve. Oh, yes, okay. curve. All right, next thing we're going to do is we are going to draw the beginning of the face. So that if this is the arm here, what you want to do is give yourself a little, like, U right there. 
And then we can do a little bit of connection there, too, if you want. Ah, uh, yes, I draw random lines. <laughs> Hope for the best. Sometimes and we all do. That's how professionals draw. <laughs> <laughs> draw random lines and okay. go. So we have our U here, and then what we want to do is two more, like, like clumps. So you're here, and you're going to make a little lump this way. Here's a tip on drawing. Draw random things like... Like Picasso, and you'll get famous and rich. No, he wasn't random. <laughs> so you're wrong. Stop. Wait, which are Ignore. Ignore. <laughs> if, which if which one's one's the one? If. Which one of them are collaging? Which one is the one with the collage and everything weird? There's a lot of collage. There's not just one. All right, ignore these comments. Let's keep moving. <laughs> the so one famous one, that one. The, yeah, the, the, but he thought about that a lot. He had a lot of phases that he went through. Oh, so they are right. We're just focused on your drawing. Stop. <laughs> Stop. So we're going to go another lump here, and that's going to go up like that. Another lump, and then up. Lump. <laughs> lump. I have two dogs. One of them's a total couch lump. The other one's a happy springing puppy that runs around all day. Yes. Getting into trouble. So we're going to curve up like that for the top of the nose. Wait, this is his face? Yes. You were rattling <laughs> off on art you don't know about, and then this curve goes this way. So it's kind of like this looks dolphin like this, shape. but it's a little lost. It's like a dolphin shape. I don't think you know what dolphins look like. <laughs> like the dolphin body, like the gills, and then you can have the <laughs> You're all so wacky today. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is the ears. Now, the ears are a little, um, little... Upside down ears, basically. So you're gonna do one ear here. Rainbow lie. <laughs> it's an upside down you. Rainbow lie. And then we're gonna lies. give it a friend over here. And you can kind of see how this is Wait, ears can have friends. I hope so. Don't you have two? Yes, but they're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> they're hey, ears, mom. Okay. And then we're gonna just connect while we can right to here because I don't have a connection line. That looks good. All right. Squirrels. Now what we're gonna do is start on the tail. So what I like to do is just kind of give myself a top line. So I'm here, and I'm going to some a line like that. Oh, that's its tail. That's one big tail. They have big tails. <laughs> I didn't know its tail was that big. That big. You can even make it bigger. Okay. And then we're going to draw the <laughs> underside of the tail. So it's going to come here. <laughs> Why squirrel has one tail? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go here, and we're going to just kind of do zig... Zigzag lines? Yeah, zigzag lines to get kind of that filled in. I don't have an exact thing you want to do here, and because it's a tail, you can kind of play with it. Oh, yes, my squirrel has an amazing tail. <laughs> yeah, I love his tail. All right, now what we're going to do. It needs more of a connecting point to that stuff physically possible. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do the eye. So I'm, we're going to actually start out with a highlight in the eye. So you're going to start like that, make a highlight. Okay, and then around Today that, we're going to make an op bigger... Today we are observing the random squirrel they're drawing. So, so far the kids made a tail that's insane. <laughs> and the lady's a step ahead of the kid. <laughs> the lady? <laughs> Alright, the lady says you make an almond shape around there. That's the easier way to do it. And then you just color in over here. Oh my gosh, that's one big No, guy. it's Umi Goosh. <laughs> Where's your circle? Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> All right. And then what we're going to do is we are going to do over the eye. This is an important line. And I know this seems funny, but this totally makes it look like a squirrel to me. You're over the line. You're going to go here and make this, like, follows it, that curve. And one underneath her. And to me, that immediately says, oh, yes. like, squirrel. I know it doesn't have fur yet, but we're going to get there. Oh, yes. Look at his terrifying eye on mine. <laughs> and then we're going to do... That was a little terrifying. We are going to do, like, the inside of the ear. So it just kind of follows this line there. Only on one side, because the other side go to the Oh, other. yes. We are drawing inside a squirrel's ear. That sounds painful. Okay. And then we're going to shade. So we're going to fast forward this while we're shading. That is what kind of takes it up a notch, especially... One thing I just want to talk about quickly is in the nose, you really want to shade that nose kind of dark. Because that's what makes it look squirrely. Alright, let's go. Squirrely. Shade away.
Okay, so we're done. What we're going to do now is we are going to leave you. <laughs> and you're going to have to just, you know, draw on your own. Um, As you're scrolling this down, as you can see, there's the banana there. You've got the light, you've got the lantern, you've got the cave side. Of course, I love it. Um, mine only got a leaf and some acorns. So, I love it. Sad. And we hope you make it. It's your... holding its mini banana. It's mini banana and it looks like a big banana, actually, back yep. there. Okay, cool. So, we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.